welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you some tutorials and I'll be parting up this video, this tutorial, uh, in three segments. Uh, it's a tutorial on how to upcycle and judge up your shoes. <laughs> I'm a person that loves crazy shoes, crazy fashion, crazy, crazy everything. Um, and usually it's hard to find those things when you try to be sustainable and so I've taken on to show you some tutorials on how to josh up your own shoes that you have already have or that you can buy secondhand. And all of these shoes that I have remodeled <laughs> I have bought secondhand and uh, yeah, I'll I'll show you. I'll uh, the first video is gonna be about these shoes. They're a little Rococo inspired, uh, so I'll be just uh, yeah showing how I paint them and how I make the bow and this thing frilly thing. So that will be the first video. This video, <laughs> and then in the second video, I'll be showing you. Uh, how to make these a little more uh, sewing and uh, yeah um, and then the last video I'll be showing you how to make like an easy upcycle with like one of these uh, flappy <laughs> flappy things <laughs> where you can make it into like wings or you know whatever uh, I've made a heart and some heart laces but yeah, I'll be showing, that will be the last video, and I'll also be including some some extra shoes that I've <laughs> made uh, on the last, in the, in the last video. That will be my series of shoe tutorials for you, uh, coming this weekend. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll just... <laughs> You'll notice. We start out with these black shoes because most shoes we find in stores are black, but we can change that. So take off the laces and wash the shoes with water and a little soap. You might need to roughen up the sole a bit if it's too shiny. Take some sandpaper and just go over the surface. We need it to be matte so that the paint stains off. I'm using a textile paint for dark fabrics. And for the sole I'm using acrylic paint. Martha Stewart gives the best finish but I'm gonna mix it with some cheap brand acrylics to get the right shade that I want. With the fabric paint I'm just smacking it on there. Uh, I don't really have any guidelines. Just just paint the shoe. <laughs> just paint the shoe. <laughs> Try to get it even and get into all the crevices. I could have painted the first layer with white paint to not waste my yellow paint, but it doesn't really matter because you need three layers anyway. And this is after the first layer. And this is after three layers. As you can see, it's quite opaque and just the way we want it. Now I want to protect our just painted fabric with some masking tape so that we can paint the sole. Expose all that black sole. Again, it doesn't matter if you messed up with the fabric paint onto the sole. We're going to paint it over now. and start painting the sole. The 
first couple of layers is not gonna look very pretty, but don't be scared, it's gonna be fine. The sole is gonna need a lot of layers. I think I ended up with maybe five or six layers in the end, but yeah, that's what you have to do. I'm putting a little bit of masking tape by the heel as well, because I didn't want the pink on the whole sole. This, however, is of course optional. So this is how it turned out after 5 or 6 layers of acrylic paint and 3 layers of fabric paint. I'm taking a permanent marker to fill in sort of where I went overdue with the paint on the pink paint. Uh, just to get like a smoother and more finished edge. Um, this is also very optional because it's underneath the shoe and who is gonna look there I don't know but you know. It's, it's just a more finished look. Now I'm going to be making the bow. I measure out how big I want it to be and I doubled that and put some seam allowance on and I measure it out on the fabric. I cut out these long rectangles, two of them because we need two bows. I fold it over and mark out the middle with pins. Then I fold the 1 cm seam allowance and hold it up to my markings and pin it down. I do the same on the other side except I let the seam allowance overlap the other seam allowance. Then you sew the sides together like so. Turn it the right side out. You can use a pen or other semi-sharp pointy thing to get the corners out properly. Cut out another thinner rectangle, fold it and sew along it to make a long tube. Turn it the right side out and iron it out with the seam in the middle. Start pleating the bow with long stitches. I'm lazy, but you should probably iron the big bow part as well at this point. I finish with some back stitches throughout the pleats to make it more stable. So on the end of the long tube we made with a raw edge onto the back of the bow. Fold it around the bow and make it even and nice and tidy. Now cut it off with about 1 cm seam allowance that will then fold in on itself and stitch in place. And now to the ruffle bit. I'm using the top of an organza curtain that I just cut off. 
it's already folded and it's not gonna unravel at the bottom. I make long stitches together alongside the short sides and the bottom. I gather it as much as I can and then I sew it onto the back of the bow. The bow ruffle is done and now it's assemble time. Bring the laces through the middle part of the bow at the back, like so. And then you lace up the shoes as normal behind the ruffles. Make sure that you tighten the laces at the bow part. And now we're done! What do you guys think? I hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and stay tuned for the next video where I'll be showing more shoe upcycling. Do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Sweet. Is that a thing? Hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. Jesus.